Do you think the scaling laws are holding strong on uh, pre-training, post-training, test time, compute? Uh, do you, uh, on the flip side of that, anticipate AI progress hitting a wall? We certainly feel there's a lot more room just in the scaling. So um, actually all steps, pre-training, post-training, and inference time. So uh, there's sort of three scalings that are happening co concurrently. Um, and we, again, there, it's about how innovative you can be and we you know we pride ourselves on having the broadest and um deepest research bench uh we have amazing you know incredible uh researchers and uh people like noam shazir who you know came up with transformers and and dave silver you know who led the AlphaGo project and so on and um it's 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 that research base means that if some new new breakthrough is required like an AlphaGo or transformers uh, i would back us to be the place that does that so i'm actually quite like it when the terrain gets harder right because then it veers more from just engineering to <laughs> yeah. to true research and you know re or research plus engineering and that's our sweet spot and i, I think that's harder it's harder to invent things than to than to um you know fast follow and um so you know we don't know i would say it's a it's kind of 50 50 whether new things are needed or whether the scaling the existing stuff is going to be enough and so in true kind of empirical fashion we're pushing both of those as hard as possible the new blue sky ideas and you know maybe about half our resources are on that and then and then uh scaling to the max the the current the current capabilities and um we're still seeing some you know fantastic progress on uh, each different version of gemini that's interesting the way you put it in terms of the deep bench that if uh, progress towards AGI is more than just scaling compute, so the engineering side of the problem, and is more on the scientific side where there's breakthroughs needed, then you feel confident DeepMind as well. Uh, Google DeepMind is well positioned to, to yes. kick, kick ass in that domain. Well, I mean, if you look at the history of the last decade or 15 years, yeah. um, it's been, I mean, you know, maybe, I don't know, 80, 90 percent of the breakthroughs that, mod, that underpins modern AI field today was from, you know, originally Google Brain, Google Research and DeepMind. So, yeah, I would back that to continue, hopefully. <laughs>